So today we got ourselves something new and something that they added for NBA 2K17 is dynamic duels. For those that don't know, it's pretty much a connection between two players on the floor. And pretty much what they are is a connection between two players, whether that connection is, you know, college, high school, draft, or even teammates. They're going to be having a variety of dynamic duels this year for NBA 2K17. And today I'm going to help you guys decide on what dynamic duels you might want to use for NBA 2K17. And in the beginning of the year, they did say that dynamic duels you can only have like two attributes at the same time like two different dynamic duels at once but it's looking like it might be different because I actually played a viewer last night on my stream and actually I had pretty much all these dynamic duels and they ended up having the boost and the way you know the boost is actually working is when you're playing with the player it's gonna have like an icon on the bottom and it's gonna have like a red and two players side by side so that's how you know you're getting the boost. I don't know if they're going to fix that. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know yet. But again, today we're just going to show you some of the best ones out there right now. That way you guys can start building your teams for either my team online or wagers, whatever you decide to do. But let's get right into it. Now we're going to go ahead and start off by telling you guys some of the dynamic duels. So first we have Damian Lillard and CJ. Them together, they have a dynamic duel. And then Kyrie Irving and Michael Kidd also are a dynamic duel. And then we have Simmons with Towns. They have a connection as well. And then Klay Thompson and Curry also. And Wall and Cousins have one as well. Now those, in my opinion, are probably the best ones so far. You know, you obviously have DeAndre Jordan and CP3. You have other dynamic duels out there right now. But I feel like these five are probably the top ones right now. And if you guys have any other dynamic duels that you think are pretty good, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Make sure to leave a like if this video helped you out. But real quick, I'm going to show you guys the increased stats in every single player once you have the dynamic duel and they don't just increase one attribute they actually give you multiple increases so let's start off with Damian Lillard again his dynamic duel is CJ with his dynamic duel he actually gets an 88 driving layup a 75 contested shot mid-range 82 open shot mid-range 70 contested shot 3 88 free throw, 75 passing vision, and also we got 58 steal, 72 on ball defense, and 85 driving dunk, and a 90 vertical as well. And next we got ourselves CJ, let's go ahead and look at his attributes. Uh, he ends up getting an 87 standing layup, an 83 contested shot mid-range, 85 off the dribble shot mid-range, 78 contested shot 3, 82 ball control, 75 passing accuracy, and 60 shot contest. 62 defensive consistency and 70 on ball defense IQ and he also ends up getting an 86 speed and next we got ourselves Kyrie one of my favorite players in the NBA right now his stats are actually even better with a dynamic duel his contested shot mid-range goes up to a 91 open shot 3 and 85 passing vision 74 lateral quickness 70 shot contest 73 61 steal 58 defensive consistency 72 on ball defense IQ and 70 pick and roll defense IQ as well. And also 70 pick and roll defense IQ, 45 driving dunk, and 96 speed with the ball. So you guys can already tell that these dynamic duels are definitely gonna be something that you can play with. You can miss and match a bunch of them. And then we got ourselves Michael Kidd. He's actually the dynamic duel for Kyrie Irving. And his stats are actually better than I thought. 85 driving layup, 75 draw foul, 80 open shot mid range, 70 open shot three, 82 free throw, 75 ball control, and then he also ends up getting an 80 speed with the ball and 82 acceleration. And also he gets an offensive consistency of 60. Pretty good card for a gold right now. We got Ben Simmons with Towns. Again, those two are the dynamic duels. He's got an 86 driving layup, 60 open shot mid-range, a 70 open shot three, which makes him even deadlier on the floor, 80 free throw, 80 ball control, 78 passing accuracy, and he also ends up getting a 90 driving dunk and 82 speed with the ball. For a rookie, he's actually pretty OP. And actually, his dynamic duel Towns is also pretty OP in the game this year. Let's go ahead and look at Towns' stats with the dynamic duel bonus. He ends up getting a 76 driving layup, 82 contested shot mid-range, and a 90 open shot mid-range. As well as an 80 open shot 3, 82 free throw, and 65 ball control. And then next, of course, we got to have the Splash Brothers, Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. Let's go ahead and look into the Klay Thompson stats. We got a 90 standing layup, 84 driving layup, 80 draw foul, 80 shot close, and 82 contested mid-range. He also ends up getting an 82 off the dribble shot mid-range, 78 off the dribble shot 3, 90 free throw, 75 ball control, 45 passing vision, and 88 shot contest, 92 defensive consistency, 
90 pick and roll defense IQ, 85 health defense, 63 low post defense IQ, and a 78 speed with the ball, and 60 strength. And then of course, Steph Curry, his dynamic duel, he ends up getting a pretty good boost as well. 78 shot mid-range contested, 92 contested shot 3, 92 open shot 3, 92 off the dribble shot 3, pretty much one of the best shooting cards in the game right now. 90 free throw, 75 passing vision, uh, 90 pass perception, 78 shot contest, 75 health defense IQ, 35 driving dunk. So you can already see that Steph Curry and Klay Thompson are definitely going to be a must-have for the dynamic duels with their ability to shoot the three ball and pretty much being able to shoot for pretty much anywhere on the floor. And last but not least, we have DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall. Now Cousins actually gets a pretty good boost as well. 82 driving layup, 80 shot close, 72 contested shot mid-range, 82 open shot mid-range, 78 open shot three, which is already crazy for a big man, 80 free throw. 62 ball control and he also ends up getting a 35 lateral quickness, 75 defensive consistency, 75 on ball defense IQ, 83 health defense IQ, 83 low post defense IQ, and 60 speed with the ball, 56 acceleration, and 98 strength. And now let's look into John Wall's stats. He ends up getting a 75 draw foul, 68 shot close, 78 open mid range, 75 off the dribble shot mid range, 74 open shot three, 80 free throw, 89 passing IQ, 82 lateral quickness, 87 pass perception, 74 shot contest, defensive consistency of 80, 82 on ball defense IQ, and 80 health defense IQ, 85 driving dunk, which is amazing for a point guard this year, and a 92 acceleration, one of the fastest point guards out there right now, and 85 offensive consistency. But there you guys have it, a quick recap, Lillard and CJ are a dynamic duel, Kyrie and Michael are a dynamic duel, Ben Simmons and Towns as well. Clay Thompson and Curry, the Splash Bros, and DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall. Like I was saying earlier, this is one of the best additions so far for NBA 2K17, my team. Feel free to let me know down in the comments your thoughts so far of the new my team this year. It's been a lot more fun than 2K16 already in the beginning, and we're definitely going to be getting even more content, more dynamic duels, more cards, more tiers of different players. And if this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like if it helped you even one bit. Make sure to share it with a friend, let them know, that way everybody has a chance to be able to build their team that they want, you know, with dynamic duels or without it, up to them. But as always guys, thanks for watching, subscribe to join Squad XC, and I will see you in the next video.